Well, sea turtles in general are already at plenty enough risk as it is, but even without reasoning, realizing it, thousands of beachgoers make it even harder for them to survive. It could be that hole you dig in the sand and don't fill in, or that sea, tur that sea castle, I should say, sand castle you build and don't tear down after your trip to the beach. Our Shelby Danielson talks about how this is an escalating problem. It may not sound like much, but digging deep holes in the beach during sea turtle nesting season can expose a buried nest that has not yet been marked with stakes, putting those eggs in jeopardy. Who doesn't like to build sand castles and dig holes at the beach? It's all part of family fun, but those seemingly innocent activities can be death traps for another kind of family. Enjoy the day, but when you leave, fill it back in. Researchers report a steep increase in the number of man-made holes across our beaches. Well, nobody needs to be digging a hole eight feet by four feet. The bigger and deeper the hole, the bigger the danger. If a nesting female coming in gets caught in one of these holes, she's done. Kevin Brown, a local marine activist and teacher, is adamant about getting the word out. I don't think it's as much as our young adults as it is our older adults. Why are they making holes? Well, we see things like what they call a beach couch. They can obstruct the path for hatchlings trying to make it to sea. When those little guys take off out of the nest, they would never get out of a hole that was two to three to four foot deep and why. It's not just public beachgoers. Construction crews and private beach owners are guilty too, as demonstrated by these pictures posted to the Michler's Landing Turtle Patrol Facebook group. Brown has been taking his students to the beach to help fill in the holes. He says a recent grant has allowed new signs to go up with a reminder. Leave the beach like you see it. On average, it's reported that only one in 5,000 hatchlings actually make it to adulthood. By making the simple act of filling in those holes in the sand, we can all help make a difference. In the Information Center, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News, on your side.